and amiable welcome to everyone this is your highlight lectum channel to enhance your understanding today we are going to see about priming a substance that prepare something for use or action priming is the process of removing hair from the tubing or the dialyzer by allowing sterile sol solution to flow through it purpose of priming are the purpose of priming is the circuit is to remove hair from the blood line and the dialyzer as well as to remove possible fragments of remaining sterilizing agents or other residuals from the disposable elements such as blood lines and dialyzers that form the extra corporeal circuit before the patient is connected and the priming things are normal saline dialyzer iv set transducer protector blood lines that is tubings and 20 ml syringe next step 1 place the dialyzer on the machine in the vertical position arterial end down install the arterial and venous blood line on the hemodialysis machine as directed in the machine and blood line manufacturer's instructions of use step 2 make sure the caps on the patient's ends of the blood tubings are secure and place in a container appropriate for collecting saline used for priming the dialyzer and extra corporeal circuit step 3 aseptically remove the blood port cap from the arterial end of the dialyzer and aseptically attach the dialyzer end of the arterial blood tubing to the arterial end of the dialyzer step 4 aseptically remove the blood port cap from the venous end of the dialyzer and aseptically attach the dialyzer end of the venous blood tubing to the venous end of the dialyzer step 5 aseptically spike a 1 liter bag of 0.9% saline solution with a clamped dialysis priming set step 6 if not already attached using aseptic technique attach the dialysis priming set to the saline t connection located just before the blood pump segment on the arterial blood line step 7 close the clamp on the monitor line and side arm tubing on the arterial drip chamber the main line clamp on the arterial blood line should be open open the clamp on the dialysis priming set and saline t and allow the saline to gravity prime from the saline t to the patient end of the arterial blood line clamp main line clamp on the arterial line step 8 turn the blood pump speed to 150 ml per minute and prime the arterial blood line dialyzer and venous blood line step 9 pinch and release the arterial blood line between the blood pump and the dialyzer intermittently as the dialyzer and extra corporeal circuit are filled gently tap the dialyzer to help remove hair from the dialyzer step 10 fill the dialyzer and blood line with 300 ml of saline solution the drip chamber in the blood line should be set to and maintained at 3 by 4 full stop the pump clamp the main line tubings clamp on the blood tubing and aseptically connect the patient end of the blood tubings to prepare for recirculation step 11 attach the dialysate line to the dialyzer invert the dialyzer venous end down to prime the dialysate compartment when the dialysate compartment is filled return the dialyzer to arterial end down position connect transducer protectors and monitor line to pressure ports and clamp monitor line step 12 open the clamp on the main blood line tubing and start the blood pump set the pump speed at 300 to 400 ml per minute and dialysate flow to 500 ml per minute step 13 continue to intermittently pinch the blood tubing between the blood pump and the dialyzer to remove any hair that may be left in the dialyzer tap the dialyzer lightly to facilitate air removal from the dialyzer step 14 continue to recirculate the extra corporeal circuit until the patient is to begin their dialysis treatment at that time the recirculated saline should be aseptically discarded and the system filled with fresh saline prior to
to making the patient connection connection patient following your facility protocol importance of proper priming priming removes air and sterilizes from the blood lines and dialyzer when the air bubbles enters the venous blood stream the patient pulmonary blood flow can be substantially blocked causing complications similarly when these small bubbles are introduced into the arterial side death by blockage of coronary or cerebral arteries may be possible the signs and symptoms of air embolism in a blood vessels to the lungs causes chest pain and shortness of breath thank you